What's up guys, this is Andy BC Builds, like the video I posted last night, uh, I was letting you know, I was going to uh, give you guys a quick overview of this power supply that I uh, actually purchased from uh, Monster Point or Monster Steel or Piercing Pros, it's all the same thing. Um, this was not sent to me, this I actually uh, purchased. Um, this is my actual I have four power supplies now. Um, you know, that one, which is my custom, which is probably my favorite, just because I built it, or well, rebuilt it. Um, anyways, uh, like I said, I have that one, which is a generic one, which has worked awesome and never had a problem. And I added extra ports and presets onto it, which is really cool. Um, my uh, The two I have at work is a Critical CX-2 and then uh, Icon EMS-400. Don't ask why I have two there. Um, I like having, you know, both of them I use to switch back and forth, but uh, I like having um, a backup there just in case. Uh, but anyways, um, lately I've been traveling a lot, helping out, uh, you know, going tattooing friends at their house, which I know I shouldn't, but, you know, like buddies of mine, and, you know, I'm going up to my uh, hometown in Rochester, upstate New York soon. Uh, I'm going to go tat some family up up there. Um, so I wanted a power supply that was portable, um, because that one's kind of big and monkey, and I didn't want to take either one from work, um, both of them are really expensive. So I looked around for a cheaper power supply, and you can go online and you can find Hurricane power supplies for like 50, 60 bucks, but most of them are sent from China, and those are definitely knockoffs. I know a Hurricane is a knockoff of the Critical, but there is a real Hurricane brand and then a faked Hurricane brand, which most people don't know. So, uh, upon that, I came across this power supply which is made by Monster Point, uh, which is made and sold in the U.S., and immediately I knew this was my choice. I've done a lot of business with Monster Points where I buy, you know, all my machine parts, you know, coils and binders, even frames. Um, I buy a ton of shit from them. Um, so anyways, I came across this. This is basically the same thing as a Hurricane. You know, it's not as nice quality plastic as the Critical is, but it's same size. It's pretty much the same everything as a Hurricane. I think it's actually the same box. It's just different graphics on the front of it. Um, still has the one port for the clip cord, one pedal, one power, and then one for the wireless receiver. Um, I already have a wireless receiver or foot pedal, which is a... Um, it's actually a landmine, uh, but I'm not a big fan on wireless just because you've got to charge it or replace batteries, and I just use standard clip cords. Uh, but what I didn't know about this, what they didn't tell me, is that it has the on-off function, like a static button. Instead of having to hold down the foot pedal, like my other one, you know, this one down here, uh, watch. This machine, you can see, this cord's hooked up to this one, the other one's completely off. So it's got that on-off function, and I can change that, so where I would just hold it, and when I let go, it turn off. But I like that on-off function, especially for uh, long shading sessions. Um, I hate having to keep my foot on the pedal. Um, and also, they sent me for free with it, is one of these pedals, which is just a generic pedal, and a generic clip cord, which I probably won't use this clip cord. I'm just using it to show you guys. I have uh, better ones, my L Brodie clip cord, and uh, that's the foot pedal I use it with. Uh, but this foot pedal, is better than that square one down there. That square one, I've added a static button into it so I can no longer let go and it turns off because um, I can't change the setting on the other box. You know, this, you know, is on and then off. You know, with this one, I can change it on through here if I want it to be on and off. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, this accurately reads all the settings. Like I said, this is the Kylin machine. Like I said on the last video, 130, 637, same as exact machine, or the other power supply. Um, this one's pretty cool. Um, it's got uh, three presets for liner and three presets for shading. Uh, watch, I haven't set them. Um, well, I never really set them, so forgive me, I never really use this. Uh, you know, 7, 8.7, 7, and 9.1 is what these are set at, and shader is 7, 9, 7, 7, and 7, 9 again. Um, and I can change that. Um, it's also got the clock function on it. I can start the clock and stop the clock. Um, you know, it's pretty nifty. Overall, um, for the price of this, which I think is I was like 45 bucks or so, you can't beat it. Given I haven't had it that long, so I don't know the longevity of it, but um, 
it's the same thing as a hurricane, but I actually think it's a little better of a quality. The screen's brighter, it's uh, clearer to read, it's, um, it picks up the cycles per second quicker on the hurricane. It takes a few seconds for it to figure it out. Uh, so anyways, uh, for the money I paid for this, it's a great buy. It also came with the stand and another permanent mounting stand, magnets and suction cups and the whole nine yard. And that came, you know, 45 bucks it came with the standard foot pedal. Or I could have spent 55 bucks and got the wireless one, but I hate wireless foot pedals. Like I have one of the best ones that's made out there, which is a landmine. Um, which can uh, you can hook a clip cord up to it too and make it a wired one um but i just don't like wireless foot pedals just because you got to recharge them or put batteries in them and there's one more thing to worry about during a tattoo is it going to die or you know da -da -da. uh that's it guys um one thing it has that um you know i'm not sh i'm not sure if you guys who would you know have something like this uh, it's the auto on and off function there's no power switch uh, to turn it on you would just press the foot pedal and it would turn on and then after five minutes of uh, in use it'll turn off you know just like my critical um, you know I also have a hurricane but I haven't used that in forever it had serious issues uh, with the voltage jumping I think I got one of the Chinese ones that was uh, I think my first power supply uh, and these are my good power supplies I have like four you know just analog or just straight digitals on these are my good ones uh, that being my favorite down there just because I customized it you know sentimental it works just as well as the other ones never had a problem with it I got a preset button on the back uh, these, the critical, the icon in that, uh, only have the one channel with the icon. I'm, I forget, I only use one on the icon anyways. But this has got the two ports, and then the button on the back to switch the settings. Um, and then this is what's cool, it's got the switch on the side, so I don't have to use the clipboard, this one I do. That's it guys, anyways, uh, you know, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 so far. I'll give you a rating, you know, a review a couple months from now. Uh, but I've had no problems, no power surges. It's really consistent. It stays at the same voltage, the same cycles per second. You know, well, given it changes when you put it in the skin. But I've had no problems with this, and I've used it quite a bit so far. Um, like I said, I haven't even put the presets in. Um, you know, I haven't used it with multiple machines. I've only really used it with one liner and one shader. And I haven't even used the preset buttons. I just hit the arrows. Uh, and it also has the static memory, too. When you unplug it, it will save your presets on, like, some of the cheap Hurricanes. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know.